Hi, I'm Megan and welcome to the Learn to Monetize More video series. This is the fourth of our DFP for Beginners tutorials and today we'll be showing you how to create DFP ad tags. Now that we've shown you how to acquire a DFP account, create ad exchange tags, and create DFP ad units, we're now ready to show you how to create DFP ad tags. The goal of this video is to help you create your DFP ad tags, help you understand how to do so without being a coding ninja, and help you develop a more intuitive feel for the way information flows through DFP. Are you ready? Let's get started. Our first step is to open a blank notepad or text file. This is where we'll copy and paste our codes that we generate. Next, let's log into our DFP account. Let's then navigate to our inventory tab and click Generate Tags on the left column. We'll now select our ad units, and it may be useful to use the Filter tab to pinpoint our selection. Once you've selected your desired ad units, you can click Generate Tags found at the bottom. Please note that under the Tag options, the Enable Single Request option is enabled by default, and Enable Synchronous Requests is disabled by default. If you leave Single Request enabled, it may allow for better page load performance. This type of tag calls all the ads on a page at once, rather than requesting each separately. The downside of single request is that it often creates reporting discrepancies. We recommend you disable it. The Enable Synchronous Requests option means that your ads will load synchronously with the site content. This can slow down site speed, but this means that ads and content load simultaneously. When choosing to load asynchronously, content downloads more quickly and site speed improves. However, ads may not download in time before users navigate to another page. In our experience, we see better ad performance with synchronous loading, therefore we highly recommend you check this box to enable it. Once the tag is generated, you'll see two pieces of code, document header and document body. Copy and paste these pieces of code onto your text document and save it. Now it's time to insert the code onto your site. Remember to put the document header code between the head tags while placing the document body tags in your desired positions throughout the site. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.